back to my channel. Today is Friday. It's the 3rd of November. Um, I have refreshed my hair this morning. Um, it's not as dark as the original colour that I did. Um, the only problem with that is that you don't mix it with conditioner. So you can touch your hair and it just, like my hand is still a little bit pink. Um, my nails are a little bit pink. <laughs> they will all come out, but with the mixing it with the conditioner um, just makes it a bit more diluted um, and, it, and and gives you a nice colour, really. Um, so yeah, I just mixed it with my conditioner um, and put it through. Left it for 10 minutes and then rinsed it. So um, yeah, I'm all in pink again today. So I did change out of this. This is my stitch <laughs> um, tracksuit. I only wore it until <clears throat> we went out to fix my car yesterday. Um, I haven't gone out and checked that yet, so I will, well, not that I'll be able to check it because, actually I'll put tissue in the back, so I will be able to check it and take the tissue out to try and soak up some of what was in the carpet. Um, and the carpet in the back, it's not like normal carpet, it's hard. It's like on a cardboard back in, so it's like really hard. Um, I did try and push as much as I could out. Um, lucky enough, behind my sub wasn't wet, um, and my amps on the other side, um, that powers the sub, uh, are still working. And I said to Ian, I'm so surprised that they're still working. He said, yeah, but they're up on a board. I said, yes, but the amount of damp. Um, and he went, yeah, I suppose so. So, yeah. Um, I need to go to the shop today or tomorrow to take these back. I might do it tomorrow because today Ian has already gone out and bought dinner, so I don't have to go out. <laughs> um, yeah, I can just have a chilled one. I'm sure there's nothing else that we need for dinner. Um, I was thinking of going to Panland because um, I need some... I need to open this window, I'm really hot. I need to buy some like multi-way plug things um, for the bedroom, but I'm thinking maybe just buying, um, you know, the one that goes in the wall and it's got three at the butt, like underneath or four underneath or whatever, instead of the big cuby thing. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean. Um, I have got a short extension lead up in the loft, but. I don't really want an extension lead because it's where we walk along the bottom of the bed. It's under the telly, the, the plug socket, so I want to keep everything up on the wall. I'm about to edit yesterday's vlog, so I'm going to do that. Um, there is a zoom on today. I don't think I'll get on it dead on 11 because it is 10 to 11 now. Um, I was super tired last night. I still had a rubbish night's sleep. Um, my knee is really playing me up. Um, the thing is, I think yesterday doing the car up and down on the floor and, and all that didn't help, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It gets to like a few times a month and it, it really does play me up. So um, I didn't do any more engraving yesterday. I don't know whether I should try and do some more today. I might do actually, because I've got the... Um, that's what I could do. Anyway, <laughs> I'm thinking, not out loud, but yeah, I'm thinking, um, I have got the hangers and I might try and design a hanger, a uh, Christmas hanger. So if you didn't know, you probably do. I make, and I cut these. Um, it says keep calm and carry yarn. And they're all different bottoms and bases. So, um, yeah, my one's a donut uh, with a pink strap, obviously. <laughs> um, right, let's get editing and sorting some bits out. And then um, I'm going to do my 30 minutes of my Stephen West. Uh, I'll let you know how I get on with that. So I've edited yesterday's vlog. And I just want to apologise for it being so long. Um, and I know I did say that at the beginning, I can't remember if it was the first or the pre-November vlog <laughs> video that I said I was going to try and make them 10 minutes. I don't think that's really going to happen at the moment because I'm rambling a lot. And I do promise that I'm not going to be constantly sat in this vicinity. 
Um, but I'm just about to start my half an hour uh, West Knits knitting, so um, I might actually try and get a stitch marker um, and mark where I am. Um, there's no stitch markers in there. Right, I'm going to get a stitch marker and then I will show you how far I've got in 30 minutes. So my half an hour is up. I put a marker in and that's the row that I was on. I've done this. Um, I think I might do another half an hour. Um, I think my plan is half an hour minimum uh, because I'm quite enjoying it. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to have days where I enjoy it and days where I don't. Um, so I think because I'm getting shorter rows as well, it's going quicker. Um, so I'm going to do another half an hour and see how I go. I'm going to leave this marker in here um, and then you can see how much I can get done in an hour. So it's been an hour and I will show you my progress, which is that much. So from there, um, I'm pleased with it. I really like the fabric. It's really nice. Uh, it does show up quite nicely and I've just got lots and lots of ends to weave in uh, but I'm going to do that before I start on the second side I've still got um, a fair amount to go a few pages left but I have got like half a page done in an hour um, and it's, it's getting smaller so that's a good thing um, but yeah I'm going to put this away now and uh, I have printed um, a pattern let me just get it uh, so our friend wants the snowmen and the Mrs Claus thought it, uh, no, uh, Santa I thought it was Mrs Claus, it's not, it's an elf <laughs> uh, but it looks like Mrs Claus I suppose. Anyway, uh, but the pattern or the picture he showed me actually is a free pattern on Hobby. So I'm going to get the yarn out and give this a go. Um, I've got some stuff in already. I'm sure I've got enough. Yeah, there should be enough there. Um, so yeah, it's. What yarn does it use? It just says Rainbow Cotton 8 4. So I'm assuming that. Is DK and the hook is in US sizes oh 2.5 mil that's quite small I might use a three mil three and a half with DK I think that will be okay I've got all of the yarn um, but I haven't got the green um, for the center so I'll need to get some green at some point um, I need like Christmassy green so yeah but uh, it's a free pattern on hobby you do have to put in your email address um, and I don't think you sign up to anything but you have to sort of put in your email address and they email you the pattern as well as you being able to print it there and then so yeah I've got that I'm gonna give this a start um, I am lasering as well at the moment I'm lasering a Christmas wreath and a Christmas skull um, or a skull with a Christmas hat and um, like a scene in his glasses I'll show you it when, once it's done it's just currently cutting still at the moment um, it's the yarn hangers um, so yeah that's it for now um, Ian's now home and yeah I'm cold, I've got the window open because I'm lasering but I'll shut that as soon as it's done because it's getting chilly the sun has come out on and off <laughs> um, so right let's get some yarn sorted for snowmen so this is finished lasering and oh my god I'm so happy with this how cool does that look it's a shame that Obviously, the hole's got to be there for the hanger to go through. Um, so you miss a little bit of the glasses, but... Oh, it's so cool. And then the other one I did was a Christmas wreath. Um, I have got another Christmas one that I can do as well. Um, but now, I am going to sit and try and design some different things. Um, like Christmas 
ball balls and snowflakes and stuff because Ian's given me the idea of oh you can make snowflakes to hang on trees and I just went on Pinterest and yeah rabbit hole, rabbit hole. Uh, so I bought my iPad over just in case I need um, my procreate to design and change the things and stuff so yeah I'm gonna do that for a little while what is the time now it's half past 20 to 3 uh, so I might do that for a little while and then it's half past 20 to 3 half past 20 to 3 yeah <laughs> um, but yeah I'm, I'm really pleased with these I'm going to take pictures these are not prototypes but they're going to be the ones that I take pictures of and then put in the shop and that so I'm not going to do loads and loads I'm just these are to order anyway so I have got the other parts here as well um, I do cut them all at the same time it's just it's just easier um, so yeah I'm pleased and it did cut through the wood a lot easier um, the last lot of wood I had um, here as you can see didn't cut all the way through um, I just don't know what had happened um, it was like you can see it would, some of it was cutting through and this one cut through um, this one almost but I don't know the actual print on that is really good um, I can scalpel them out and then sand the edges because obviously you do get a little bit of um, where you've tried to cut it um, which I have done in the past and it's been fine but yeah so I will keep this and I can always go back to it for next year because it's not Halloween anymore so um, but yeah I'm gonna carry on lasering I will probably come back to you later on with what I've been doing and updates and stuff because I feel like I've been talking quite a lot today um, yeah uh, so I will catch you up a bit later on so it may seem that I've been sitting in this chair all day. Well, I have. <laughs> um, but I have made some more bits and pieces. Um, you saw the hangers. Um, I did some snowflakes. I did two different types of snowflakes. Um, so I did these ones here. But for some reason, the engraving the lines like burning on the lines it didn't it it missed some of them so like here up here it missed some um and then this one i think came out okay but i didn't put the holes in it and again the same with this one it's come out okay it's still got a bit of tape on the bottom should be okay um so yeah, they're the first ones that I did. And then I did this one that I've already broke, um, which is this. And then I thought, no, it needs to be bigger because it needs to be more sturdy. Um, more, is that the word? More sturdy? More unbreakable? Rigid. Rigid. Um, so I just made it a bit bigger. Um, so this was the original. Then I just made it uh, a bit bigger and it is a lot more um, rigid and not as bendy. Um, so yeah, they're like little Christmas tree hangings or whatever really. Oh, I'll put them there. You can, you can see it against my, my top. Um, they take quite a long time to cut because um, I have to go over them a few times because the wood's quite thick. But then... I've also made this tonight. Um, our niece is moving into a new flat, not her, her first one, but she's moving into a new flat. Um, and so I thought I'd make her this. Um, I see the idea on Pinterest. And yeah, uh, it's so it's the backing plate with the writing on and the hole in. And then you have to cut this separately. Um, I was trying to get the numbers to go like sit on this bit of wood so it was all cut at one I couldn't I couldn't manage to do that uh, well, I, I didn't manage to do that um, and then the heart that's cut out of the house just I'll put over there um, 
yeah, I thought it was super cute. Um, I can give that to her tomorrow. We are babysitting tomorrow for a few hours while she sorts out um, her flat and moving bits and pieces. So um, we've got Amelia for a few hours. Uh, we're going to get weighed in the morning. Um, so this vlog won't be up till later because I was going to do it tonight but I don't want to sit at this computer anymore. <laughs> I want to go and sit on the sofa. I am making a snowman um, from the pattern that I showed you earlier on. I've got sort of a little bit at the bottom done, so I'll show you more of that tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and I shall see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.